To access lesson plan templates from Chalk, you'll start by accessing the menu in the top left corner. Under plan board, you should see a drop down menu where you'll want to select templates. From here, you may not see anything, but it's also possible you'll see that there is a template created by your school that's been provided to you. And if you've already created templates, then you'll see those here as well. The big difference here is that when you're looking at a template that's been created at the school level, you can view it to see its content, but you can't actually make any edits. If you're looking to create your own template, what you can do is use the plus button in the top right here to create your template. You'll want to make sure that you name it here. And then the content would go here. As you're creating content, you may notice that it's going to save for you automatically. So you don't have to worry about clicking save anywhere. And when you're done working on your template, click the back button in the top left to see a list of all the templates. Here we have a lesson plan template that we already created earlier. Let's click the edit button on this to see a little bit more information. We can see here the title of the template in the top, as well as the content of the template that's shown here. We can use all these editing tools available to us to customize the template to be whatever we want it to be. And know that you can always come back at a later date and make further adjustments if you find that partway through the year the template isn't quite working for you. Once you've created your template, what you'll want to do is assign it to your classes using the Assign to Classes button here in the top right corner. Clicking this will give you all the classes that you've created that you can create lessons for, and selecting a class will assign the template to that class. To show you the difference between having a template and not having a template, we'll only assign it to our English language arts for now. We'll go ahead and click Close, and if we click the Back button, we quickly want to show you how you can also click the assign button from here to quickly access the options for assigning that template or unassigning a template to any of your subjects. Now that we've assigned the template, let's use the menu in the top left corner and access plan board to see what that looks like. As we can see for a math morning block, we don't have any content showing. I can click into edit, However, there's no content to work with, so I am starting from scratch. If I scroll down to my English language arts, where I've assigned the template, we can see that when I click into edit, rather than starting from scratch, I have a lesson plan template that already exists that I can edit as I see fit. So I can add to any of these fields. I can even remove any of them if I'd like to. It's completely up to me, and that's why it's very powerful to create a template that reflects how you'd like to plan and includes the different components you want to make sure you include in all your lessons. And then from there, each individual day, you can work through how to tweak and adjust those to best meet your needs.